we've tweaked our quiz funnel over and over, and every time we've got a newly revised quiz, our cost per lead goes down, which you can't beat, and the quality of our information that we're getting from our leads, it just, it's incredible. That's awesome, you know, I love that. And, um, you know, I know, uh, I think you and I are simpatico in this way that, you know, when we, um, you know, we think about business and we think about what's happening, it's, mo it's more than just, you know, it's more than just making a buck. Hey, this is Ryan Levesque here, and I am super excited for this interview here today uh, for a few reasons, because I'm going to be talking to a gentleman whose story is both really inspiring and the way in which he's using a quiz funnel is for a different type of business. He's using a quiz funnel in a market where he's not necessarily selling something online. Uh, he's not necessarily selling a digital program. Um, he's selling something that uh, affects uh, every single one of us, which is a place to live. And he's doing it in a really cool and innovative way. So I'm really, really excited about that. That's the first thing. The second thing that I'm really excited about um, is he's doing it um, at a time in his life where he's not retired once, but retired twice. So for anyone watching this right now, if you're thinking that it's too late to take advantage of this, it's too late that it's pass you by, um, that uh, it's too late to uh, do what we're doing here today, um, I think you're going to be really inspired by his story. So um, with that being said, um, please join me in welcoming our special guest of the hour, Mr. Del Shale. Del, what is going on, my friend? How are you? Hey, Ryan. Oh, I'm great. Thanks. It's really nice. I live here in Florida, and the weather's great. It looks, um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm always torn between being here in Texas and when I see how beautiful it is, every time I go to Florida, my wife and I talk about it, we say, hey, are we gonna like uh, spend some of our time here? Are we gonna spend all of our time here? So, um, you know, I can't tell you how many times I've been to Florida. It's uh, one of my favorite places in the world. So um, maybe you could tell us a little bit before we dive into the quiz itself, which we'll look at in just a moment. Um, maybe you could just kind of set the stage a little bit and tell us a little bit about who do you serve? What do you sell? Just tell us a little bit about your business. Sure, be happy to. Um, well, I work with my wife, Diane, and our daughter, Megan, and they own a non-traditional online real estate company. So what makes it unusual is that they give their clients a 2% new home rebate. So what does that mean? Well, their clients get thousands of dollars when they buy a brand new home in a new construction community here in Southwest Florida. Um, that's... Uh... Pretty cool. Um, I love the kind of the different angle here. Now you've led me to another question in my mind where I'm thinking to myself, all right, so, you know, like how'd you get into this? Like, you know, like how did you get to where you are today? Did you have a career or a life before this? Have you, have you been doing this your entire life? Like what'd you do before this? Oh, I, I, was, a, a, I was a Lutheran pastor. I'm a retired Lutheran pastor. So um, did that, uh, that started back in the 70s. So I've been at it for a while. And I retired first time in 2016, and uh, I did retire a second time in 2020. So, uh, so I, I'll, on another, I, I'll ask for that advice um, um, maybe another time, another conversation. But I'm very, I'm very curious about you know, you know, is retirement not all that it's cracked up to be? You know, are you like you know itching to get your fingers you know onto something else? Um, I'm, I'm very curious about how one retires not once but twice and then finds their way um, into the process of building quiz funnels uh, <laughs> of all things. You just have to have a personality that likes to keep going i like to i like i enjoy working i like to work i love so. it i love it no it's really really cool so sorry to interrupt so keep going tell us a little bit about um so you met morgan um and um morgan gets mcdonald um some yep, of yep. Um, you morgan. know our people might be familiar. Was, she's in the book space yep. how did you guys meet um back in 2015 uh, my wife diane and i were writing a book on how to use a home exchange to uh, create an affordable clergy sabbatical and somehow we'd come across Morgan online and we hooked up with her and asked her advice and, and as we we're uh, getting that book put together. You know, I love that story so much because, you know, side, side, side note, side story here, but for anyone watching this right now, um, Morgan is also, incidentally, uh, someone who's had a tremendous amount of success building a quiz funnel for her publishing um, business. And I love it when worlds collide like this, where it's like, you know, um, you, know you, you meet people who are, you know, have a similar ethos, have a similar way of thinking that you just resonate with in a big way. And I think that's kind of one of the side benefits of this. When you kind of get into this world, um, 
that you know that Dell's in, that I'm in, that Morgan's in, that we're all in, um, you start to meet a lot of like-minded people that you can work with in all sorts of different ways, ways that you might you know envision today, and ways that you might have you know never even thought about. Um, so I always love stories like that of um, how folks connect. So, anyways, keep going with the story. I love this. Sure. Well, I had no idea uh, when we first met Morgan that in 2020 she'd be introducing me to you and your company, which is exactly what happened. So um, she said, you know, Dell and Diane, take a look at this. And as soon as I understood what you're doing, I said, whoa, this is it. This is uh, the way to get the word out. And that's all we need is a way to get the word out so people can become clients of uh, Venice Realty, which is the name of Diane and Megan's company. I love it. You so, know, um, so keep, keep going. Sorry. Keep going. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, uh, okay. Uh, in 2020, it, in the middle of the year, I'd given notice that I was about to retire again. And uh, then we hooked up with you. And I just knew that if we could get a handle on internet marketing to get the word out, then we could connect with our unique market. Yeah. And so here we are. We, uh, Diane and Megan have a, a, a great thing going with uh, uh, their approach to real estate where they're saying, look, you can buy a new home here in sunny Southwest Florida and get a 2% rebate. So you spend $300,000 on a new house. The builder pays Venice Realty a $9,000 commission. We give $6,000 back to the customer and then we keep $3,000 for the company. And I, we figured, well, most people could use $6,000 if it was handed to them. So we said, it's a great business plan, but the key is marketing. And that's what Quiz Funnels does for us. So I love that. You know, you started with this great product, you're offering a great service, but you know, that's not enough. I think that's a big fallacy that people um, tend to think. They think, all right, I've got this great thing. If I build it, they will come, right? Yeah. And the answer is, well, not exactly. So um, before we get to the quiz, maybe you could set the stage and talk to us a little bit about what life was like before the quiz. How are you getting the word out? What were you doing? How is it working before ask and um, using a quiz funnel? Okay, Brian. Well, uh, we, we were online. We were doing an online thing, and we thought, okay, you got to do Google ads, and Facebook ads. We were throwing money at it, um, but we didn't really have a coherent strategy. We couldn't see any consistent results when it came to leads. I didn't really track uh, our metrics back then, but I think our leads probably cost anywhere from twenty to sixty dollars a lead. I mean, it was it was crazy, and it just we never knew uh, if if somebody was going to sign up after we spent a bunch of money. And uh, so we said, this is not the way to go. There's got to be a better way. Uh, and there is. <laughs> that was all before we came to Ask Method. All right, so I love it. You told the before story. We kind of set the stage, kind of a little bit, it sounds like a little bit all over the map, trying a whole bunch of different stuff, didn't quite know what worked, maybe paying 20 30 40 50 $60 a lead, but who knows, really, because no way yeah. to really kind of track and measure the results. Um, now let's fast forward to sort of, you know, today, after launching the quiz funnel, you know, how have things uh, changed? Well, uh, we're having a good time. It, it's still early days, so um, we've only been at this for eight months. Um, but I keep saying the main thing is that Right now, when I look at everything, and we are definitely keeping track of the metrics, um, now we're on track for long-term growth, and I have to tell you, we've got high-quality leads. I'm really impressed. So uh, we've tweaked our quiz funnel over and over, and every time we've got a newly revised quiz, our cost per lead goes down, which you can't beat, and the quality of our information that we're getting from our leads, it just, it's incredible. That's You know, I love that. And, um, you know, I know, uh, I think you and I are, simpatico in this way that you know when we um you know we think about business and we think about what's happening it's more it's more than just you know it's more than just making a buck right it's you know uh, it's having an impact it's making an impact and uh, i'd love if maybe you could just talk a little bit about you know how this quiz funnel and using this process um you know what sort of impacts um it's having you know in your life and in you know what's important to you and um you know and in your business well ryan i, I don't I've never really had a chance to tell you this before, but that's one of the things I really appreciate about you and, and your approach to things is you, uh, you encourage all of us, your students, to pay attention to what you call our North Star vision. And uh, I really like that. Uh, I've always believed that it's important to build my life on the foundation of my values and convictions as well as my dreams. So here I am, I'm a retired parish pastor, but the truth is in retirement, I still need income. <laughs> and I know that if I'm given a choice, I would rather do whatever I'm doing with my wife, uh, Diane, and that mm -hmm. comes to earning a living too. So 
the real estate business gave us a chance to do that. And the cool thing is we get to work with our daughter, Megan. <laughs> I'm having such a good time. So anyway, and then one of the things that we like about, uh, about this business, doing anything online, is that uh, our dream now is that uh, travel opportunities will open up after the pandemic. Mm. And Diane and I can get back to traveling about, which is something we love to do. And we can do that and earn a living at the same time because it doesn't matter where you live as long as you've got decent internet connection. Uh, and Oh, and then um, the other thing is that Diane and I are working on another book. It's our first novel. So we started it uh, already and we've got it going, but we've had to kind of lay it aside, work on the business, and once that gets going, we want to get back to the book. So it's really a trilogy uh, based on the life of the Apostle Paul. Uh, and it's something that that's important to us and we like to, to finish that up as a part of our legacy. I, you know, I love that so much. I mean, it's such a sweet story, right? It's like, um, you know, what, what more can a man want, right? Than to, you know, spend his life with, with his sweetheart and, and uh, you know, be able to do something really cool um, with, um, you know, with your, with your child and, and, you know, be able to do what you love and to have a business that gives you the income so that you've got, um, you know, practical life matters, right? You've got enough money coming yeah. through the door so that you can do all those things and you're doing it in a way that doesn't, you know, chain you to one place that you can travel, um, that you've got enough free time that you can do the things that are really meaningful to you, like write a novel um, and do it in a way and, and spend it with the people who are, you know, the most precious people in your life. I mean, it's like, it doesn't get any better than that. Like, I think it's a very envious, um, you know, enviable situation for um, a lot of people. So I think it's, um, you know, it's really special that you're doing that. And I love that. And, um, you know, it's really, really cool. Um, all right. So we've been talking about your quiz, talking about your business. I know people are watching this right now and they're saying like, all right, can we see this thing? Like, what does this thing look like? Can we do a little bit of show and tell? Would that work? Yeah, that'd be great. All right. So let's do this. Let me pull up my screen here and, um, I'll let you kind of narrate as I, as I pull up my screen. Um, you can tell me, uh, as we pull it up here, um, what are we looking at here? Okay, uh, this is the welcome page, and um, it's, yeah. So this, this is where the quiz starts, and if you scroll down, you see we've got our first, you have our question, our quiz hook, uh, yep. which Southwest Florida new construction communities fit you, and that's what the quiz is all about. Great. And they, they can just jump into it, um, or they can scroll down and, and see a little bit more information about uh, the company and yep. uh, who we are and stuff like that. Great, I love so, it. We also have a little bonus that we, we tease them with it at this point. Great, so they get a nice home purchase guide um, in exchange for you know, taking the quiz, which is, um, which is really, really smart. I love that. Um, okay, cool, now what are we looking at here? This looks like the first question in the quiz. Okay, um, yeah, it is. And uh, what happens is they, they, they get started with the quiz. Uh, we ask a bunch of questions. They can uh, answer these rather quickly and just start going through them. We, we have some branching questions. They allow us to gather more in-depth answers. Uh, a couple of our questions allow the quiz taker to select multiple answers. Mm. Uh, it's a very rich quiz, I feel. And uh, of course, then some questions serve as the diagnostic questions for our quiz results report. Right. And then at that point, you get, you're get you up to the uh, lead capture page <laughs> where it all <laughs> counts, right? We, we um, People fill out the lead capture page. They give us their first. And, and we didn't start out asking for all this information, but we've got enough confidence now that we're getting their first name, their last name, their phone number, their email address. Uh, they send that to us. And then the quiz funnel, which is what we're talking about, takes them to a post-quiz outcome page. Mm. I love this. And this is your daughter, right, That who's doing this video? Yes, yes. Yeah, let, let's do this. This is, I love everything about this. So we're asking all these questions to really kind of hone, hone in on what type of home might be right for them, really learning about their situation. And then based on that, you're gonna kind of recommend um, one of several sort of uh, communities or um, uh, you know, areas that's really a good fit for that individual based on the type of home that they're looking for. Um, what, what I thought would be cool is, um, if it's okay with you, I thought it'd be cool maybe if we just um, play a uh, just brief segment of this, uh, this video, uh, but, I'll, but I'll play it now um, just so we have it um, on the recording. Hello, I'm Megan Hess, broker owner of Venice Realty in Southwest Florida. Welcome, and thank you for taking my quiz to learn what type of new construction community fits you. 
I love it. It's great. You know, it's uh, it's a cool video, um, and we just got you know the first few seconds here, but it kind of gives you a flavor of the fact that like this doesn't need to be you know produced in a fancy TV studio. Like you don't need you know uh, fancy equipment or anything like that. You can literally just do it you know in in a home like this, and um, it's amazing that what a smiling face and authentic passion and energy what that will do um, without any bells and whistles meaning like you can be a complete beginner you can have never have done this before and uh, you can use this and do this as well so um, uh, so we watch this video and i think below the video um, okay what are we looking at here on this um on, on this uh slide right here okay so we just um we haven't really said too much about our business uh in the in the uh with the quiz results, it's just to deal with what people are looking for, is information about the kind of communities they want. Mm. We want to make sure that they get some information about what makes our company unique. So this is an infographic that we, we provide um, as a PDF at the very end. And during the, the video itself, they're instructed, okay, now uh, go check your email because that's where the real report is. And right. so they, uh, they are going to find that uh, report and, and information about uh, buying a new home and, and other things that would be very helpful for them uh, as they are getting in, involved in checking out Southwest Florida. So many of these people are not even familiar with Southwest Florida. We got people from all over uh, taking our quiz. This is great. So you're able to, you know, tell people about the communities themselves. Um, you know, you can give some examples. Um, and I love this. Like you're offering a ton of value, and you're doing it in a way that's, um, you know, speaking to their specific situation, um, as opposed to just, you know, sending, you know, whatever information. So um, I think that's really, 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 really smart. Um, this is great, Dell. Um, this is Thank awesome. You. I love it. Um, you know, is, is this it? Is there any? Is there anything else? Uh, is, have we gone through if, the whole thing? <laughs> if you if you've got some time, I uh, could share some some. Uh, some of the metrics I was referring to earlier, some oh, of the yeah, results. That's totally, that's totally good. So I, I think people are going to be, so before I go back to my screen here, I think people are going to love this, right? So, um, you know, it's fun to see the quiz and kind of get the wheels turning for what a quiz funnel might look like in your business. Um, but I think it's even more exciting when you start to look at the results. Um, so let's do that. Let's take a look at the results here if we go to our uh, screen. And maybe you could talk a little bit about um, what, we're, uh, what we're looking at. Okay. Uh, first of all, this is uh, our, our current quiz, quiz is number seven. So since since we started launched our first quiz in, in August, we have, uh, we've, we're looking at the results here for quiz number seven. Um, and if you you can take a look there, you see that the best cost per lead we've gotten yet that's three dollars and ninety cents. If you go to the next next, there you go. And up close is the next slide. Mm. Oh, great. Okay, yeah. so so you, you can see that. Um, since since we we started back in uh, the end of August, eight months ago, um, we have we have been able to to bring our cost per lead from seven dollars and fourteen cents down to three dollars and ninety cents. Which, when we were thinking we were spending like anywhere from twenty five to sixty dollars per lead, <laughs> this is a big deal. This is huge. I mean, this is this is. I mean, it's it's business changing. It's life changing. Really, is what it is. Because you it think is. about that, and um, you know, sixty dollars per lead, which is probably what you know most people are, are paying in, in the market. To get that down to just three dollars and ninety cents, um, it allows you to reach more people. It allows you to to, to serve more people. Um, and I think there's an important lesson that I want to share here, which is, you know. You know, you don't even have to get it perfect out of the gate, right? So, you know, I, I'd much rather pay three dollars and ninety cents per lead than seven dollars and fourteen cents. But you know, seven dollars ain't bad, considering no, the alternative. So, you know, and that was your first quiz out of the gate. You know, didn't get it perfect. You know, didn't have the experience that you have now. And so, it just goes to show you that you can launch with little experience when you've got the right process the right technology, the right framework, and it's forgiving. You don't have to be a world-class expert. You just follow the steps. And then with the experience you get, you can take those results a step further. So I love this. I love this. And I'm excited for, um, you know, for where you take this. Um, where, where do we go next? Okay, on the, uh, on the next slide here, um, you can see this, we, I've summarized um, everything from the very beginning. So for the last eight months, what, what, is, what have we done? We've had 10,628 people who have you know, stopped by, as it were, mm -hmm. uh, come through the front door. Uh, we've had 1,700. Next slide, I'd like to zero in on this a little bit. There we yep. go. Uh, so we've got, uh, there you see a bit, number of people who've actually opted in 
and then we move on to the ad spends. We've spent, that's what we spent. Uh, and this is our average cost per lead from all seven. When we put all of it together, that's what we've spent. So you can see that uh, we've, the price has really come down from the beginning. Mm. We've had, uh, next is, I want to focus on the sales because we've, we have sold uh, something, <laughs> something to make some money. And next you see how much money we made. And then there's this little thing that you've taught us to do, which is called return on ad spend or ROAS. So, uh, you know, you take the, the uh, what, we've, what we've gotten in and how much we spent on it, and you realize that we've taken in 193% of what we spent. You know, it's a great it's it's a great story, and and what I want to underscore is that fifteen thousand dollars in revenue is is revenue to your company. But I imagine the actual gross revenue, the 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 value of the the, the home prices that um, people have spent when you add it all up, is is many 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 times that. So you know, for right. you know customers who are buying homes, let's just say an average home is, I don't know, $300,000. Well, four times 300,000 is $1.2 million uh, worth of kind of gross sales. That's the uh, sort of net commission to you and your company um, after the rebates and everything like that. So, I mean, it's a, um, it's a pretty cool, um, it's a pretty cool story. And, um, you know, I think it's really, really just the beginning. Um, so I know I only have you for just a, a, a very short amount of time here, Dell. So, um, you know, just kind of last couple of questions here, really, the question I want to ask is, you know, for someone who's, you know, watching our interview right now, they're, they're who knows where they are in the world. Um, they're sitting there, they're thinking, all right, you know, you know, do I do this thing? You know, am I, I don't know, am I too old? Am I, you know, do I have what it takes, the right business, whatever. They're sitting here and they're thinking, ah, do I do it? Do I not do it? But they're on the fence. What would you say to someone watching this um, video right now? Well, I'd, if I could just talk right to you right here, <laughs> I'd say to you, okay, look, if you're sitting on the fence, I, I don't want to pretend that I know who you are in your situation, but I can tell you, uh, why I took the leap and why I felt confident that, uh, and why I still feel confident that Ask Method and Quiz Funnels were right for me. Way back when, when I was still making the decision, I knew that we had a service business that would generate personal income if we could only figure out a way to get the word out. Because you know, without leads, we're, we were never going to go anywhere. And as soon as I saw what Quiz Funnels could do, I told myself, hey, this is it. Here is the answer to our number one marketing obstacle, acquiring affordable leads. And so since our first quiz funnel, that's, we've, had, we've gotten results. We have consistently done what we could never do before. We've generated leads day after day with the budget that we have to work with. And uh, ever since we got started, the cost of our lead acquisition has gone down. Every time we've tweaked our quiz, the quality of our leads has gone up. All I needed was a method I could trust, and I found it. I love it. You know, Dell, this is amazing. I'm so grateful for you and your time and sharing your story. Is there anything else either that I haven't asked you that you were hoping I might ask or anything that you'd like to share before um, we wrap things up? Well, if there's any way that folks can become a, a part of the Ask Method community, I would encourage them to think about that because uh, you get much more than a method here. You get a, a whole community of committed entrepreneurs. And uh, everyone in this community is different, but there's one thing I've found common to everyone, and that is a genuine desire to encourage one another. And hey, there's the opportunity many times over to learn by watching and listening as others ask their questions, as others share their observations and suggestions. <laughs> and just as kind of a side note, um, it wasn't a part of the program or anything like that, but just by being a part of this community, I have, I found the CRM or customer relationship management application that I use, I love for tracking and developing relationships with the leads we generate. And the other thing is that by working with folks and talking to folks in this community, our Facebook ads have consistently gotten to the right audience. So our quiz is getting the results we're, we're looking for. And that's, that's no small thing. So that's it. 
That's huge. You know, I mean, it's it's um, it's no small feat, right? To you know, to do something, follow the steps, get the results that you are hoping to get, and uh, to have you know a few little extras along the way as well. That um, you know is sort of the icing on the cake. So, uh, Del, I just want to say thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule to um, be with us here today, to share your story, to show us your quiz, to share us kind of behind the scenes, to share your real numbers like this. I think it's always really insightful whenever um, you can see kind of inside behind the scenes like that. So thank you so much for taking time for doing this. And I'm really grateful for you and uh, send my best to your family as well. Thank you, Ryan. It's been my pleasure. Awesome. So there you have it. You've heard from Dell and how he is using a quiz funnel right now to generate leads for his real estate business with his wife and his daughter. So if you're in a situation where, you know, maybe you'd love to um, build a quiz for your business. Maybe you're at a, a stage of your life where you've retired once, twice, you thought about retiring, or maybe you said, I'm you know, too late to, to the ball game here. Um, I think that hopefully Dell's story has been really inspiring to you. And if you're in a family business, or maybe you want to get involved with your family, maybe you want to bring your child or your spouse or your partner um, into your business with you and be able to you know, be on this journey together, um, hopefully Dell's story has gotten you excited about that. Now, as far as the next step, where do you go from here? Well, the first step that I'm going to recommend is the same first step that Dell took not that long ago, uh, which is to participate in something that we do once a year, uh, which is our upcoming quiz funnel workshop. Now, uh, if you're watching this video right now, your timing is perfect. It means that the workshop has either just started or it's about to start. And you can join us by going to the link on the screen or on this page, quizfunnelworkshop.com. And we're going to go through a week-long process together for creating a quiz funnel from start to finish. We're going to talk about the three types of quizzes to choose from and which one's right for you. We're going to talk about the five biggest mistakes people make when it comes to their quizzes and how to avoid making them. Um, we're going to go through dozens of examples. So you saw one example here today. So all sorts of different examples and different markets, how people are using quizzes in all sorts of different situations. So you're going to get inspired. We're even going to come up with the big idea for your quiz so you can get your quiz off the ground in a very, very short amount of time. Now, the only catch is it's only once a year that we do this and I'm doing it live. So your timing is absolutely perfect. All you need to do is go to that link one more time, quizfunnelworkshop.com, and I look forward to seeing you inside the workshop. Take care, talk soon, and I'll see you inside the training.